Hello everyone. So I hope everyone's doing well in these times and I know it's not the best opportunity to post a magic review because not a lot of people are inclined to spend their money on magic but I've received a lot of products in the mail and a lot of stuff so you know since now I'm at home and I'm off I decided it's time for me you know to film and to have videos for you guys to present and you know even though it's not the best opportunity for everyone to buy these tricks if they were inclined or to get you know uh an incentive to buy them if they're good or not you know but this is essentially what uh i've decided to do to film these videos so you have them whenever you want to be able to purchase them and today's review is uh, stealth by andres dante and it's quite a cheap trick at the moment so maybe if you just want to crave for some magic and have something to do to occupy yourself and take your mind off things Maybe this could be something that interests you. So what is Stealth by Andres Dante? Essentially, it's a prediction type effect. So uh, someone, uh, you show the person your phone with different um, pictures of uh, cards. There's around 20 cards per picture. You show them that uh, they're all different. You place the phone aside. You then ask the spectator to open up the deck, look through it, see that everything is normal. They shuffle the deck. And then you tell them to take out any card and place it face down on the table without any of you seeing it. After that, you take out your phone, you give it to them, you tell them to swipe through the phone, stop on any picture. Then you go through a small process of elimination on the picture. You end up on one card and that card that they're freely thinking of from the picture is the card that they took out from the deck before. So that's essentially the trick. And where can you buy it? You can buy it on Penguin Magic for $14.95. It's currently... 40% off, I believe. So after that, it's probably going to be $25. So you're getting quite some uh, small discount on it. So what do you get with your purchase? You get an app. Uh, it's in the ad copy. Uh, you know you're getting an app, so it's not exposing anything. You're getting an app that's going to essentially let you um, input any card that a person is thinking of without them even knowing. So... That's essentially what you get with a tutorial video. And the tutorial video, uh, brace yourself, you may think that I'm exaggerating, is almost three hours and 30 minutes long. Yes, three hours and 30 minutes long of a tutorial. So that's extremely long. So you get that extremely long tutorial with the app and that's it. So that's what you get for $14.95 at the moment or $25 in the future. So... Let's talk about the uh, app first. So you get the link to the app to install it on the instructional video and that installs to your home screen and you have it as an app. So after that, what the app does essentially is, as I said, you can input any card that's selected by a spectator into the application. So essentially, it's wonderful how it works because it's the name comes from the input because the input is extremely stealthy. If I would have my phone on here, I can't show you right now because I'm filming with it and I would show you the input, you wouldn't even know that I put an input because I kid you not, imagine this is my phone here, this is the input. Just one swipe inputs any card in the deck. So any card except the jokers in the deck with just one swipe. So, and that swipe is basically just to wake up your phone from rest mode. So. As you pick up your phone that they've seen has not uh, left the table, you just pick it up, you tell them, look, uh, yeah, just scroll through uh, the pictures. Just doing that, you've inputted their card on the phone. As clean as that and as fair as that. So the app works perfectly. You can also have, you can also customize it. You could change some uh, stuff on it and make it work better for you. It also works with iPhone Androids on tablets or the phones themselves. So you have uh, different variations of where to do it. So you could probably do it on stage with an iPad or close up on your phone. So that's up to you. So another thing that I want to mention is about the app is that uh, there is a procedure. So some people are scared of procedures. There is a small procedures of three steps that you need to do in order for the spectator to end up on one card. So there is a procedure and, you know, maybe that scares some people off, but you shouldn't. It's it's quite a fair procedure. 
uh, I think that, you know, it's not really in the trailer because I think it's something that's quite known. I didn't know this procedure, but he says that it's something really known for men, for mentalists and card magicians in the world. So I won't mention what you, you're doing as the principal because I'm scared that I may give it away. So that's all I could say from the app itself and how it works. Now I'll go into the tutorial. So the tutorial, you get 16 minutes of video of performances and in those 16 minutes he shows you every single variation of the trick because there's different variations he presents you with three but i'm going to tell you four so essentially there's four so you have four variations he shows you three in the performances because the fourth one is something that you can do on the fly so he doesn't really show so the other part of the download is one hour explaining to you the effect the secret how it works installing the app making it work making everything uh clear to you about what's going on and then you have another two hour download which is basically explaining to you the customization some bonuses some uh, different handling tips on you to understand everything that's going on and for it to be the easiest possible thing you could do so now that you know what the download is about and you know what the app does i'll tell you what you get as routine so you get uh, three routines and the fourth one I'll just tell you so uh, the main routine as you saw from the trailer uses uh, one of these a DMC elites so I don't think I need to explain to you uh, what these do and I think it was pretty uh, obvious for anyone that saw the trailer that he was using these so he's not trying to hide it so just know that the best way to do this trick is with uh, one of these types of decks. Then he teaches you uh, uh, two other ways of doing it with a small gimmick that you care that you carry on you. Uh, so a very small gimmick and with a borrowed deck or a normal deck. So it doesn't use something like the DMC elites. So and of course, if you don't want to do it with a gimmick, you could probably get away with it while doing it with just a normal deck and some sleight of hand so that's not the best way to do it because you do have to maneuver the deck and touch the deck but if that's your cup of tea and you don't like using anything gimmicky or extra you could still get away with that so you could it could still work in my opinion so essentially you get all these options for you to do the trick they're all explained thoroughly because it's three hours 30 minutes you basically know everything you need to know. So there's no cutting corners here. He goes in so much detail that sometimes you're getting kind of overburdened of how much detail he gives you. Like most uh, magic companies and creators now, for apps especially, they're gonna give you a small two-page booklet that's like 20 lines on the app itself for you to understand how it works and that's it. But he went into all the trouble of giving you so much information. So just take that in mind. So I think it's pretty explanatory about everything that's going on and I'll tell you some positives and negatives about this. So a main positive is that it's something that you could basically do anytime, at any time. So uh, you could do it with your own deck if you carry something like this. You could do it with one of the small gimmicks that fits into your wallet or your pocket to carry around and a borrow deck. Or you could do it with a normal deck that you buy off the store and you want to go to a party and do it, you could do it like that as well. So you can basically perform this anytime because your phone is always on you and getting a deck, you could probably find it anywhere else. So for example, if you're going to a party, you could just swing by your local pharmacy, pick up a deck or your local Walmart and go perform it. So it's something you have any at any time. Another positive is that uh, he goes through, like I told you, three hours, 30 minutes of download. He gives you so much information. He's he's a really nice guy. You know, he's really generous. You could see he cares about his product. You know, he, sh he could have just explained everything in maybe a 30 minute or 20 minute download. And that's it. But he went through all these explanations for you so you could understand everything. And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate his effort and his uh, dedication to the trick. Another positive is that it's really easy to do. Uh, you're not you're probably never going to forget it once you learn it so that's another positive and another positive is that it's customizable so you could customize it for you to feel safe while performing it so you could feel relaxed you could feel comfortable 
so that it's um, so that it's safe, so that it's foolproof. It's never going to fail. So those are the main positives for me. And I'll give you, there's not many negatives, but I am going to give you uh, one negative that I find with this is the procedure. You know, it's quite weird sometimes if it doesn't really work out from the first step in the way you'd like it, you know, it's maybe going to look fishy what you're doing or maybe the specter is like, you know, some specters are hard headed, so they're going to be like, oh, but uh, I was happy with my first card. Why are you making me change or, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, that's things you deal, you can deal with. And inevitably, you're probably going to get a spectator like that. So you can't run away from that. But it is something that, you know, uh, kind of could be bothersome. But I just want to put it out there for the people to know. So. Essentially, now that I've went through every single possibility of the trick and you know absolutely everything that there is to to Stealth by Andreas Dante, I'm going to give it a final review. So I'm going to give it... Um, I'll, I'll give it an 8.5, 9 out of 10. So this is really good and it's really fun to do, but it's not a 10, so it's not something that, you know, I'll rush to do at gigs. It's not going to be the first thing that I'm going to do. Uh, and it's, it's still a good, uh, it's still a good mark, but I just feel that it's a good trick, but it's not something that I would, if you give me the opportunity, as you know, from all my reviews, it's not something that I'll do over some other tricks that I have, but it's really good. It's something that I'll carry on me. I'll probably perform quite a few times. It's a really good effect. That's an 8.5 or nine on 10. And that's my review guys. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you stay safe. I really hope that you like the video and you subscribe to my channel. I'll really appreciate it. And I'll come back soon with uh, some other reviews, most notably Silver Edge 2 by Kim Anderson and Illusionist. See you guys in the next one and keep your mind on magic and try to forget what's going on and have a good one.